Hi, so in this video, we're going to be talking about how to automatically send off uh, approval requests using the Sweethawk Approve app. Uh, so let's just jump straight in. Um, so you might have a scenario where you have end users submitting a request through your help center and the instant that they submit the request, you want an approval to be sent off and the whole process to be started. You may have other scenarios where at certain phases of the ticket, um, that, that, that's a, what, uh, the point that you want the approval to be sent off as well. So regardless of uh, the scenario, whether it's when the ticket is created or midway through a ticket, it's not uh, difficult to make this happen. So if we have a look at uh, over in the Approve app uh, admin settings, um, uh, this is from an agent's perspective, we can see we've got this travel request, it's a two-step approval, there's a message that gets sent out. Now, how do we get this approval to be automatically sent off? Well, it's actually not set in here. The thing that starts the approval is a trigger. So when you create any approval definition behind the scenes, there is a webhook that's created that you can call in any trigger. Um, we have a way to, um, a shortcut way of getting to that. So uh, the, way, the way that you do that is go back to the approval definitions screen here where you can see a list and on the right hand side you can click to create a trigger. So when we create that trigger, that will uh, give us a link uh, to that uh, trigger, uh, which will not fire under any normal circumstances. This is just a template or a uh, kind of example trigger that's looking for a tag that would never exist on the ticket. Now we can go about altering this trigger uh, in order to fire at the point that we want it to. So for example, uh, this is a travel request, request. So we're going to look for firstly, uh, when the ticket uh, is created and the form is uh, form is travel request. Um, and at that point, we can see in the actions, the approve uh, approval has uh, is, is set to um, kind of to fire. We can see app approve request travel uh, request. It, this is this is what kicks off the approval. It's essentially, this webhook is letting the Sweethawk servers know uh, that this needs to happen. And then we have one URL parameter, which is send equals true. So when this approval gets uh, added, it will send it off straight away. If we wanted to apply the approval but didn't want to send it off, we could just make send equals false. And that way, the approval would exist on the ticket straight away. Um, it, but it would also, uh, but it wouldn't be sent. It would be uh, needing the agent to uh, ensure that the data that you collected was correct. Um, add additional or um, uh, kind of data uh, for the approval if required, uh, and then they would need to send it. Um, this rule here to remove the tags does not apply in this case because um, a ticket is created is a self nullifying condition. So we can click on save here, and we've got our. Um, uh, trigger to automatically send that off. Now we can go and test that. So if we come back here to our travel request, which we've filled in some information on, if I submit this uh, ticket, uh, we'll be able to see that um, uh, the uh, request 8345. So we can now go and search for that ticket that would have just come in uh, to our desk, 8345. And we'll be able to see Okay, this travel request has come in. The Approve app has already kicked into gear and it is pending approval from this agent. So that agent can then go and uh, you know check their inbox to see that that approval has come in um, like so and choose to approve or decline. So yeah, that is how you can automatically uh, kick an approval off. Uh, uh, if thanks for watching if you've got any questions uh, be sure to email us at support at sweethawk.com